Matt, we've noted the outperformance in the last week. SMH versus some of the other software and cloud computing type ETFs is up huge. How much of this is just on the optimism around possible more taxpayer spending around semiconductor facilities here in America, as opposed to some of the maybe broader fundamentals for the business? I, I, I think certainly that that's a factor, Dom. So particularly with Intel, they are poised uh, to receive a, a significant portion of subsidies, uh, given it looks like a lot of that additional dollar content is going to go to uh, companies that manufacture chips um, like Intel, uh, like Global Foundries. Uh, but but I think also uh, for, for some names, um, and I'd highlight AMD, there, there's also a realization that I, I, I believe that fundamentals aren't necessarily that bad. So remember, we did get Taiwan Semi last week give us uh, better results, a uh, better outlook. Um, and, and tell us that certain segments, um, including the high-end server market, uh, actually look pretty good from their vantage point. So, so if that's the case, is there a favorite that you have right now in that, in that coverage universe, or either targeting those specific parts of semiconductors or, or perhaps a company that kind of has a portfolio that, that seems to be tilted more that way? Uh, yeah, certainly, uh, Dom. My, my favorite name I, at this juncture is AMD. I, I think they are um, in a position to continue, to continue to gain share from Intel in both uh, the server segment and the PC segment over the next couple of years. Um, and, and I don't really see that dynamic changing till late 24, 25. If that's the case, and you like AMD versus, say, an NVIDIA, or, or a KLA Corp or an Intel or anyone, anyone else, do you also feel as though from a valuation perspective, at some point some of these other names do become more compelling, even if maybe the growth prospects aren't there in some of the places that you mentioned for AMD? At some point, prices fall far enough where the business still has a pretty decent value, right? Uh, yeah, certainly. I, I mean, you look at something like NVIDIA, they, they have a great longer-term story. I, I'm waiting for the... Um, uh, the, the, the decline in crypto mining, um, the potential weight on their consumer GPU business to, uh, to, to get fully baked into, into um, the name and the outlook. But uh, you can't argue that they are the leader in AI um, and that spend in AI will, will continue moving forward. Um, same thing with Intel, right? In, Intel is going, they're investing a, a ton of dollars in terms of restoring competitiveness. Um, I am more negative on that stock just because I, I think it's going to take them longer to get back to um, where they are competitive in their core markets. Having said that, there's still value um, in their in their facilities, in their ability to manufacture chips. Um, and, and at some point, yeah, uh, there, there's a valuation bomb.